Ukrainian intelligence intercepts conversation, evacuation ongoing in Russian Grevoron, Belgorod Oblast. Ukrainian Defense Intelligence has reported that authorities in the Russian Federation's Belgorod Oblast decided to evacuate local residents due to the operations carried out by Russian military volunteer groups, intercepted conversation of a resident of the Russian Federation, a fragment of which was provided to Ukrainska Pravda by a source in Ukraine's Defense Intelligence confirmed this. An intercepted conversation with a local resident indicates that the people of Graveron District, Belgorod Oblast, Russian Federation, are being evacuated. Uncle texted, basically, that buses are standing or going. Graveron is being evacuated. Mom called me. Dima called. They said they were evacuating, says intercepted conversation. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Belgorod Oblast, reported on Telegram that the Graveron city district was again attacked by the armed forces of Ukraine. Gladkov stated there are casualties in the city. The Russian Volunteer Corps then issued a call to all residents of Kursk and Bryansk oblasts who did not have time or were unable to evacuate to seek shelter immediately. Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Sibir Battalion and the Russian Volunteer Corps liberated two settlements from the Putin regime and the Second Army of the World and continue to hold them. The volunteers said that they also decided to go to Putin's elections. Moreover, in Ukraine, what they say in the liberation forces of the Russian Federation is only the beginning. Part of the village of Tetkino, which was liberated by Russian volunteers, changed its name in Titchin, and fighting is underway for another part of the village. In addition, it became known that the border of Lozovaya Rudka of the Belgorod region was under the control of the liberation forces. Devastating storms pounded three central U.S. states March 14 night, spawning massive tornadoes including one that hit a trailer park in Indiana and killed three people, Logan County, Ohio, Sheriff Randall Dodd said that there were two deaths at the Geiger Mobile Home Park in Lakeview, north of Dayton, after a reported tornado hit the area. Police said a possible tornado also ripped through the rural Indiana community of Winchester, leaving homes damaged and some buildings flattened, while many were left with significant injuries. More than 13 million people in the central United States were under tornado watches, the National Weather Service said. A very dangerous half mile wide tornado touched down in Ohio State, National Weather Service said. One struck the rural town of Indian Lakes in western Ohio. It's pure devastation. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life, Amber Fagan, president of the Indian Lakes Chamber of Commerce, told a Columbus ABC television station. Downtown, it's bad. It's very bad. Three people died in a mobile home park in Winchester, Indiana, when a suspected tornado struck, the ABC and NBC television networks reported, citing state police storms hopscotched across the Ohio Valley, spawning apparent tornadoes in a number of areas, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said on social media that a tornado moved through Gallatin and Trimble in his state but left no fatalities, tornadoes, a weather phenomenon that is as impressive as it is difficult to predict, are relatively common. In the United States, especially in the central and southern parts of the country. Beautiful. Go east, go east, go east. That is insane! A massive tornado warrant supercell here. Hail of strong wind. Made a foreman right there on the Ohio River. Bridge. 